I didn't vote for uh, the former president, President Muhammadu Buhari, because um, I, did, I didn't believe in his capacity to deliver. I benefited from the Buhari regime, I wouldn't lie. Uh, if there is one thing that I love to tell the president, which I believe he's already working on, it would be that we must tap into the abundance of our gas resources. It is very important. I believe that if we start using CNG powered uh, uh, vehicles in Nigeria, our atmospheres will be better for it. Our atmosphere will be better for it. Our environment will be cleaner. Uh, because we have gas reserve in abundance, I think we have about $806 trillion worth of gas reserve in Nigeria. We should do more to tap into that. And then, you know, maybe again, it will help us to generate more um, um, income, you know, IGR for the nation, and we can have more money to do other things. And so I think gas initiative has to come as quickly as possible. The president talked about the PCNG initiative. I'm waiting to see implementation and see some of those buses start arriving into the nation. I didn't vote for uh, the former president, President Muhammadu Buhari. I never voted for him at any point in time because um, I, did, I didn't believe in his capacity to deliver. During his tenure, a lot of entertainers benefited. I'll tell you the honest truth. I didn't know about some of the incentives that were given to entertainers until 2018. You know, and the moment I knew, I introduced other younger comedians to it. And if you notice, if you can cast your mind back, you'll probably see that there was a lot of comedy show boom between 2018 and 2019. It was because when I got to know about this, I involved the younger colleague. With some of the senior colleagues who knew about it at that time, they didn't involve people. I didn't know why. I don't want to question anybody why they didn't do that. I, I'm a fan of subsidy remover, but I believe that that money should be channeled to transportation subsidy first. You know, most especially food transportation and human movement. And also, I'm um, a fan of um, uh, uh, subsidy on production, most especially consumable productions. So, so that, that is, this, these are my opinion, but I don't know how the government want to drive their uh, 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 policies. So, but then it must come measure with a better life for the people. And again, I saw some of the things they did, most especially the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. We know what that road had been before Buhari. <laughs> this is one road that I apply on a regular basis. And again, the second Niger Bridge, I give him kudos for that. The re-engineering and um, improvement on our rail, I give him kudos for that. But aside that, I think one of the areas where President Muhammad Buhari was lacking was in people's management. A lot of things went on check under his management, which wasn't good. And so these are some of the things that is hurting this present government right now. And for me as a person, you know, when people talk about the student loan, I need them to know that the student loan is not five billion. First, people should know that the student loan is not five billion. They have about uh, almost 270 something uh, billion that has been earmarked for student loan and some other stuff, maybe tech fund and other stuff. And this is something that has already been passed in the new budget, the 2024 budget. It has been passed. But what happened was that for the implementation of the student loan, the president said they should include technical training so that people who go for technical training and other stuff can also benefit from that loan, which was not an initial part of it, which is why it is a little delayed right now. And I believe that they can do better in that regard, you know. And talking about um, uh, making approval for some things that are not necessary, I, as a person, I'll tell the government when I saw the approval for the Hajj, I think it is way, way, way uh, uh, out of what the government should get involved in. Anybody who wants to go for Hajj should be able to fund the trip by themselves. If you want to go for religious tourism, you should fund it by yourself. You know, it, it's, I don't support that. It is absolutely not right. 
But I can understand the political undertone to it because of election and then pleasing some of the populace to come and if we are doing that for uh, maybe the Christians, we're doing it for the Muslim, how about the traditional worshippers? What are we doing for them? And so uh, everybody should have equal benefit from what the government does for the people. So for that, I think all these hard things, government involving, getting involved should be cancelled. Yes, government can involve to speed up um, the approval of their visas and other stuff. But any other thing in terms of monetary uh, concern, government should not be absolutely involved. That is my stand on that. And again, I was not happy uh, um, uh, that um, uh, the Senate uh, decided to get vehicles, uh, uh, foreign-made vehicles, when we have young businesses in Nigeria who are producing cars that we could encourage with that amount of money. And one of the, I think that is one of the biggest or the first big mistake by this administration. Although it might not have come from the executive, I think the legislative arm of government did a disservice to Nigerians by doing that. And again, one of the senators was interviewed and he said, oh, they should know that the road to our constituency are bad. And then we had to go with SUV that, oh, that is, that is absolute badadash. You know, it, it's, you know, sometimes when you want to give your support to an administration and you see this kind of thing, you, you want to pull back. But then I still believe that there are more for us to gain in the administration. That's why I'm still supporting. That's why for every administration, even before I got involved in any protest during the Buhari regime, it took almost two years, you know. So for this administration, I've given them the benefit to one and a half years. If nothing is done, I, I probably will speak for the, you know. I'm not speaking for, I'm not supporting the government against the people. I'm supporting the government to do well for the people. And so when they refuse to do well for the people, we'll speak up for the people. Uh, personally, I, I don't believe that as a mature person, you should put yourself under the pressure of another person's uh, 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 thought or uh, 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 expectation, you know. I believe that you should be able, once you are above 18 and in the year of smartphone, to think for yourself. Knowledge is readily available to everybody. You should be able to make your own research and come up with your own opinion that you think genuinely drives your purpose. And so when I give my opinion, if you don't agree with it, put your comment. If it is a, uh, 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 a superior uh, argument, I probably will, 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 will accept and, and make amend. But if you come with abuses, insult, and try to just argue without having a full spectrum, you know, covering the full spectrum of the argument, come on, I overlook you. Anybody who is a, who is a Nigerian right now, whether in the presidency or in the uh, in the strongest of opposition, we agree that Nigeria is going through hardship right now. And I don't want to colorize it with the fact that there is a global recession looming. No, I don't want to colorize it with that. I want to say that this government have to make their policies work. It is not working enough. It has, they have to make their policies work. And they must give the necessary palliative to the people to encourage them to be patient. If you are not subsidizing transportation, you are not subsidizing food, uh, uh, transportation and um, availability and affordability, then it is absolutely nothing. The government needs to do better. In one year and six months, if one year, three months, nothing is done. <laughs> Why did I choose the career path? I think the career chose me because <laughs> I've always said I wanted to study medicine. My cousin somehow along the line from when I was dancing and probably acting and then you know, doing business center phone call. Saw the potential and introduced me to comedy. And boom, money started coming. And I said, okay, let's do it. Let's make more money. The most challenging thing about being a Nigerian comedian is that you are everything. Most especially when you want to plan your show. You think of the joke, you write the script, you practice, you plan the show, you sell your ticket by yourself. You know, but things are gradually changing where we can now subcontract some of 
the activities of what we want to do to people. But then we still need more sponsorship to be able to help the comedian to be better relaxed and do things, you know, in a more proper way. And this new generation of comedians are taking the bull by the horn. You know, they are beginning to do more special than we did during our time. I tried to uh, always be on time. And then I grew up in a Butemeta and I know the place that they call Alagomeji. So Alagomeji means tourist watches. And again, one guy that I love in football, Diego Amadio Maradona, wore tourist watches. So I decided to just follow. Hey, you there? Yeah, you! My name is Shea Love, BCFR, the Black Comedian of the Federal Republic, and you're watching News Central. Keep watching.